This video will demonstrate the procedure on how to run the system check cartridge, two level controls, and two level calibrators in AFIA 6. It is highly recommended for users to update the reader's software to the most recent version available beforehand. Now let's run the system check cartridge. The system check is usually run every after reader installation, whenever test errors are shown or results are highly suspicious, or after the reader was transferred from one location to another. Insert both the system check cartridge and the ID chip. On CalQC screen, press the setting icon and check system check cartridge enable. Go back to the CalQC screen and press start. The result will be shown on the screen and the printer output. In this demo, we will run Bodytech PCT control in AFIS PCT with lot number PCM04F. We recommend running the control regularly for test system assurance. When a specific item's test results are highly suspicious and far different from the expected result value based on patient symptoms and for educational or demonstration of the AFIS system, reconstitute the control following the preparation instructions on the product insert. On the CalQC settings, check CalQC Enable. Then press Control Registration. Press the plus icon at the upper right hand of the screen to add and register the control level. All the information we need to register both control levels are indicated on the product label as well as the value insert. In this demonstration, we register PCT Level 1 and PCT Level 2. After we register both controls, go back to the CalQC screen. Insert two cartridges of the same PCT lock numbers we want to check in channels 3 and 6 only. Dispense Level 1 control in channel 3 and Level 2 control in channel 6. On screen, Apply the control information on channels 3 and 6 as shown. And then press start. Check and then confirm start. After testing, the FES reader will show the test values and you may check the QC test results. Based on QC results, proceed to calibration accordingly. In the FVS system, calibration is necessary when the control results are out of range or test results from clinical samples are far different from each test item's comparison equipment. To confirm the new calibration, we will test Level 1 control in Channel 3 and Level 2 control in Channel 6. Reconstitute the calibrator following the preparation instructions on the product insert. On the CalQC settings menu, press Calibrator Registration. Press the plus icon at the upper right side of the screen to add in register. All the information we need to register both calibrator levels are indicated on the product label as well as the value insert. Make sure that all information are accurate. After we register both calibrators, go back to the CalQC screen. On screen, apply the calibrator information on all channels as shown. Insert six cartridges of the same PCT lot number we want to calibrate in all channels. Dispense Level 1 Calibrator in Channels 1 and 4. Level 2 Calibrator in Channels 2 and 5. We will test Level 1 Control in Channel 3 and Level 2 Control in Channel 6. And then press Start. Check and then Confirm Start. 
calibration will proceed automatically. The control results will confirm the accuracy of the new calibration. The new calibration is applied to all cartridges of the same item and the same lot number. Send us an email if you have questions or feedback.